Okay, Charlotte, will you tell us what we have up here? Yes, water. How many containers of water? Well, two. Two containers of water. And up to the middle. Okay, so we have the exact same amount of water in each one, right? Right. That's because we're going to we're going to do something with these that I'm going to tell you about in a minute. But we want the water to be exactly the same so that there's no difference in the amount of water. But we're going to change the temperature of the water. How? Well, one way, we're going to do it in two different ways. One, we're going to make it very, very cold. And we're going to use this to make it cold. What do we have down here? Well, water and ice. Okay. So here, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to take one of these and we're going to bring it down here and we're going to set it down so inside here. So we want to get it very cold. Yep. Remember, don't flat it, set it. There we go. There we go, okay. So now it's set in the water. Now. Is the water from here going to end up inside of the bowl? No. No. Okay. So we're not adding any water to this. But this cold water is going to make the water inside very cold. Okay? Got it? <laughs> yes. And then in a minute, we're going to take this water up here and we're going to microwave it. And what's going to happen to it then? Then it's going to get very hot. Very hot. So we're going to have one water that's very hot. And very cold. And one that's very cold. Okay. Okay, Charlotte. So here we are. We have very hot water and very cold. And very cold water. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny drop, one drop of food coloring in each one. In each one. Put your goggles back on. No, but then I yeah, but I'm doing this first experiment that's not on yet. We're starting now because we're we're making our hypothesis in just a moment. Okay, what do you think is going to happen when the food coloring goes in the water? Well, it will change colors. The water will? Yeah. Do you think there'll be any difference in how it changes colors when it's in hot or cold water? Well, yeah. It will. How will it be different? Well, I think it will be different because water changes it differently and cold weather changes Okay, do you think, what, what do you think will be different or do you not know? Uh, I see it will be different than the will take his covers. <laughs> okay, but you're not sure how. Okay, so here we go. Now we have our two containers. Yeah. I'm going to put it in the cold one first. Oh okay, and now in the hot one. And now let's watch what happens. This Try not to shake the table. Okay, that one is changing faster. Which one? That one. So let's watch and see okay, what happens. That one. That one is Try not to shake the table. So is is this one the hot or the cold one? The hot. That's right. So is that changing faster or slower? Fast. So look, the hot one is almost completely turned red, isn't it? Yeah. But what's happening in the cold one? Well, it's not changing very fast. It's not changing very fast. Do you want to know why that is? Yeah. Well, inside the water, water is actually made of tiny little things called molecules. Do you know about molecules? Yeah, you told me about them. Do you remember what they are? Oh, um, yeah. They make flowers, like mine, right there. <laughs> well, we talked about pigments earlier, but things are made of molecules, and molecules, there's, I like my right there. there's something called a water molecule, and <coughs> water, <coughs> water can be a little drop of water, right? Yes. Well, even a little drop of water is made of tiny little water molecules, and the molecules move around, and the more energy they have, the faster they move around. So do you remember what has more energy, something that's hot or something that's cold? The hot one. Hot things have more energy. And the so, cold things have less energy. Okay, so do you think the molecules are moving faster or slower when they're hot? No, faster. 
That's right. So if the molecules are moving around faster, what are they going to do to the coloring? But it's going to go faster. Yep, they're going to mix it up more, aren't they? This is red. So we can see right here that the, the hot molecules are moving around faster and they mix it up more, don't they? Yes. And look at the cold ones. They're barely mixing <laughs> up at all. Why do you think they're not mixing up much? Well, because they don't have as much. Yeah, be careful not to touch. <clears throat> they don't have as much, as many molecules? Yeah. Well, there's the same amount of molecules, but what's different about the molecules? Well, they only go faster if they're hot, and they right. only go slower if they're cold. Right, and why do they move faster if they're hot? What do they have? More... Molecules. Well, no, not more molecules, but the molecules have more energy. Energy, that's right. So, what did you learn today, Charlotte Moon? That they have more energy. When? When they're hot. Very good, cool. And this is me dancing. That's you dancing? For joy. And for joy? Yeah. Okay. Say goodbye to our audience. Bye.